Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's moto vlog is gonna be about finding the deals. So, all right, let me tell you this. I am the probably the biggest sucker for deals on the planet. If there's a good deal and it comes my way, 95% of the time, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on that deal. Like, it's like my Achilles heel. Like, I'm really bad at budgeting. Holy cow, it's hot right now. Um, I am really, really bad at budgeting and setting financial goals and stuff like that. It's like a hair dryer out here, Jesus. Um, I'm really bad at setting these like financial goals, but you know, I'm working on it. But when, when a good deal comes my way, like, you can almost guarantee that I'm gonna jump on it. Like, for example, that's where I'm going right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some, uh, a GoPro device right now for a really awesome deal because it's like, it's less than half of what it costs new. So, I mean, I have to get it. It would be dumb for me not to. And it's that exact reasoning that gets me into the trouble that I'm in with, you know, with money. Is like, <laughs> I justify it just like that, where it's like, it would be dumb for me to not get it. Oh man, I'm just, I just say that to myself right now and I'm thinking about it, I'm like, man, I'm dumb. But, you know, if you're gonna use it and it's gonna bring you joy, then, you know, why not get it? If If you're not sacrificing your food for the week, or if you're not digging yourself in a crazy amount of debt, and you have expendable income, then hey man, more power to you if you can find the deals and jump on them. But I just happen to be in the position where, you know, I'm not exactly the most, you know, financially stable person, and finding these deals doesn't really exactly help me out. But, you know, I'm, I'm willing to jump on the deals, and I'll, 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 Toss out the negative for right now, and I'll tell you how to find the deals. So first, you have to figure out what you want. Actually, there are two schools of thought that I usually go through when um, when I'm I'm looking for a deal. There's one where you just surf everything, and you know what's a good deal and what's a bad deal, and you just jump on it. Versus you actually physically going out there and searching for what's what's good and what's you know what's a good deal what's the market value for something and you know those are the two big the two two really big ways that I, I find stuff it's either I'm in the mood I got a I got a couple of a couple of hundred dollar bills in my pocket that are burning a burning a hole in there and uh, you know I just hop on hop on one of my many deal finding sites or apps and I just go ahead and scroll and I figure out, hey, what should I buy? What's a good deal? What what can I actually buy and then resell? You know, and I can, what can I flip or what can I fix up or what, you know, it depends on what I'm in the mood for really. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for a project and other times I'm in it for like the pure resale value. And, you know, depending on what mood I'm in, say I'm looking for a Honda CT90. So if I'm looking for a Honda CT90, what I usually do is I I start in I start in what is the market at right now? What what are people actually actually buying for? So what I do is I say, hey, let me hop on Craigslist because Craigslist is a pretty good indicator of what the market value is for for that particular item so honda ct90 so i'd search honda ct90 on craigslist and then see okay what's the highest amount and what's the best condition i can find and that's going to be the top tier and then what can i find that's the bottom tier and what price is that at and i make mental notes of those two things i i figure out the reasons why why the why the price is that high or why the price is so low? You know, does it need a lot of parts? Does it need, um, does it need, you know, is it a salvage title? Is it this or that? Or is it just a, you know, a mechanic special or a project that somebody, you know, 
a project that somebody was no longer into. So there are a ton of reasons why, um, you know, things go on Craigslist. Some of them are more shady than others. Sometimes the items are stolen, but you know, let's keep it in the happy spectrum. So I figure out the top, I figure out the bottom, and I figure out why. Why is it that much? And honestly, what I'm doing is I'm doing my homework. I'm, I'm seeing like best and worst case scenario. And then I try to find something in the middle, something low into the middle, because I know with my skill and with what I know how to do, I can, I can take something from the, from the middle low end and then bring it to the like, the middle middle end you know or the middle high end you know what I'm saying and I'm willing to invest a certain amount of time and a certain amount of money into getting it that way to where it's like okay if, if I don't if I don't manage to get this handled it's it's not a complete wash so that's what I do I try to find something middle low middle middle but while I'm searching for those things like Honda CT90 what I do is I search the rest of Craigslist. I search for things that are related to the Honda CT90. Um, and of course I'm saying the Honda CT90 because it's just something that popped into my head and it's something that I know about. But I I search, you know, search terms that are closely associated with the Honda CT90. So I figure out what's in that spectrum, what's in that market of, you know, similar items and what those are going for. And then that's how you stumble across things that are, you know, new to me. Like, that's how you figure out what the Yamaha is, or the, the TW200, or the CT110. Is it's because they're all kind of similar. They're scooters or smaller off-road style bikes. And you, you start to see, okay, what's the high end for those? What's the low end for those? And you, you kind of rinse and repeat until you finally get enough knowledge and understanding of what's out there and you you um you have an understanding of what's out there and what it usually goes for and then you jump on the right price you jump on the mechanic special you jump on the on the project that somebody's you know no longer going to finish and you jump on the project where you know the guy has to give it up because the wifey said no or you know you shop after Christmas time when people are struggling to, you know, um, either pay off their Christmas bills or you buy before Christmas so people can get spending money. Like, that's how I got my CT90 for $165. Is I bought it when it was around Christmas time and this guy had to buy, he, he spent too much on Black Friday. So, you know, that's kind of how that went. And... I did plenty of research before and I saw, oh shoot dude, like this guy's asking like nothing for this bike, so let's check it out. And I know this is kind of a hard way to do things because it takes a lot of work, but if you're looking for something in particular, that's kind of the way that you have to do it. If you're just looking for deals in general, you just think you gotta go, you gotta go to websites or apps where it's like forum based, you know what I mean? So like, uh, if you're looking for guns, you gotta go to calguns.net, since I'm a Californian. Oh, I'm going to Target. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, you gotta go to like calguns.net and see, you know, what's going in their classified items, or classified set. And then, you'll, with enough experience, you'll be able to see like, oh shoot, this guy had a smoking deal on, uh, smoking deal on this gun, or X, XYZ gun and somebody bought it really quickly or you know um if you see enough guns you know or something that's interesting to you you just kind of you just kind of jump on it you know what i mean but i'm i'm almost to this uh this craigslist deal right now so i will go ahead and check back within you check back in with you guys check back in with you guys in a little bit jesus Hey, how you doing, brother? Good, how you doing? Rob? Yeah. So, what's this? Yeah, I got the Hero 5. <laughs> awesome, has a little tripod, perfect. Slide that, and then you flip it over and you can screw it back in. Have gotcha. There's 30. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, five, 20. Looks good. Cool. Have a good one, brother. You too, take care. Thank <laughs> you.
All right, so there you go. So you just saw an offer up deal happen. And um, well, 30 bucks for a GoPro tripod, which usually retails for like 69. Um, and that's the thing. If you're buying something like that, you have to know, you have to know what the market value is before you can know, you know, when something pops up, if it's a good deal or not. And of course, knowing the market value, you know, requires that you, you know, you do your research, you figure out what your MSRP is. And, you know, that comes with experience, that comes with time. And, um, you know, oh, I mentioned OfferUp, and that was the other thing, the apps and stuff that I use. So, if I'm looking for guns, I usually go on Cal Guns, and, you know, I, I'm a gun fanatic, I'm, I'm a gun guy, so I know what kind of the market value is and what good new and used condition is um, for guns, but it's not the case with everything. Sometimes I go into it completely blind and I'm just like, shoot, dude, I have to figure out if I made a good deal or not. And one of my favorite ways to find deals is, um, is like one is like deal sites and two is offer up. So offer up is like an app. It's pretty much Craigslist, but for like suburban moms, you know? Of course, there's some fishy stuff on there too, but sometimes you can find like just random white white people stuff But you know, oh man, I wanted to ride in that dirt But I have these all this new stuff on here that I haven't done uh, videos of yet um, But it's like uh, it's like Craigslist but easier to use and more more targeted towards suburban people, whatever, but uh like the way that I found this GoPro thing is I was just searching through it. I was just searching through all this stuff and just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and I was like, I know what that is. And then I checked the price and it was, he listed it for 50 bucks. So I lowballed him at 30 and he was like, deal. And you gotta know when people are, they're, when people are posting stuff online, you know, they have a set idea of, you know, what they want to get and you have to have a set idea on what you want to spend speaking of spending money so usually i lowball at a little over half and then i'm willing to go maybe depending on the amount i'm willing to go about 10 or 15 percent more so i'm kind of surprised that he met me at my at my asking price and at that point i was just like screw it i'll do it um but that's probably my favorite way to do things is I just scroll and scroll and scroll until I see something that I like or catches my eye. And then either I end up doing research and figuring out, hey, is that a hobby I want to get into? Is it a hobby I'm already into? Or, you know, do I want to, you know, just kind of chance it and go for it? Like, that's how I've gotten into some of my, like, my favorite hobbies, like Polaroid cameras. You know, a lot of the times I didn't know what I was looking at until I actually bought it and then figured out like, oh shoot, I just kind of overspent on this or I got a really good deal on this or this, you know, whatever it may be. But, you know, sometimes I, I learned from the School of Hard Knocks, but over time I ended up figuring out what the deals are. Um, speaking of deal websites, backtracking a little bit, another one of my favorite websites to use is slickdeals.net. So that kind of applies to everything. There's everything from technology to like food and free stuff on there sometimes. But that's more of like a forum based kind of thing. Um, and honestly, forum based or vote based websites are really great because, you know, people with like mindsets know what deals are. You know, of course there's gonna be the good old leeway of you know, what you're willing to spend versus what the market is willing to sell. But with slickdeals.net, usually it's all retail stuff. So it's either on Amazon, it's in Best Buy, it's in Walmart, you know, Red Robin, Jack in the Box, wherever. If somebody's running a promo and it's a really good deal, it finds its way to the top because enough people, enough people say, hey, that's a good deal. And, you know, 95% of the time, all the random tech that I have that I don't really need kind of comes from slick deals. So for example, um, 
I was perusing slickdeals.net last night, and then I managed to see um, a pair of headphones um, because I'm I, I'm going to start doing some podcast stuff, and I'm doing a lot of um, voice recording, so I need to hear really crisp audio. And I don't my headset's kind of old. It's a Logitech G30, G35 that I bought when I was a like a teenager, but. I wanted a, a good, nice, high-quality, you know, set of wired headphones, and, you know, I found it on Slick Deals, it was on the front page, and it was really late at night, so it had just made it there, so, um, I was like, okay, let me read the comments, let me do a little bit of research before I jump on these, and then everybody said, man, these are a fantastic deal, and then that's what got me, man, that's what got me, is when somebody else says, hey, I've been shopping this website for years. I have these. It's a fantastic deal. And that's honestly what gets me is, you know, when I'm searching, when I'm searching for stuff and um, and I see people who have, who have purchased the product and are willing to buy it again. Because that's when you know, like, holy cow, this product is awesome. It's a good deal. Or it's just an awesome product. And I don't know about you, but I'm a sucker for really good like high quality items like that's why I have a gear you should buy kind of they're not high quality high quality high value so a combination of the two things so you can have high quality and it's not a good value and you can have low quality things and it's a really good value or you can have what I like it which is a, a, a um, high value or low value high quality kind of kind of product or something that's been severely reduced in price and you know those are the things that I love because I'm usually buying things that are you know two or three or four years old anyways like that's why I got the Hero 3 you know and I started moto vlogging with it this Hero 5 is the first thing I've ever bought that's like the same like it came out the same year as I bought it I bought it the same year it came out and you know those are that's kind of like a like my my segment on deals it's kind of weird but you know first you got to do your homework you got to figure out what the market value is you gotta you know be willing to dictate how much you're willing to willing to spend what's your what's your limit or you have to be willing to just risk it to get the biscuit and like be willing to to burn some money on a new hobby but anyways guys that's kind of it you know thank you thank you thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great day. Until next time, peace out.